Hey guys, Red Panda Mining here. Today, I'm going to show you how to mine Aeon using HiveOS on the renowned AeonPool.tech. It's an amazing pool. It's super fast. Uh, I've been I've been on in the past couple of weeks, guys. Super awesome. The pool operators, Yashnik, CryptoZ, and ICU2, they're really cool guys. They seriously go above and beyond to help every single person who wants to mine Aeon. You guys should check out their Discord which uh, is linked on their community page on their website discord telegram twitter as well all right guys so let's get started we're going to start with going to hiveos.farm and you're going to go click on sign in uh, i already have an account already so you guys just have to register one if you don't have one already. So we're going to log in. Okay, so you guys will see the same thing, except it'll be your username. So mine's Red Panda Mining Test Farm. Uh, you just click on that. And you will see uh, you'll have no workers found, so we're going to add one. Uh, we're going to call it Red01. Password, so password. Uh, you guys will want a more secure password later on. Uh, this is just for test purposes. Description, put whatever you like. It's gonna be a seven times 1060 rig. Add. Okay, so now we will need to remember these two things as we're gonna be remoting into it later. So we'll keep that open. Next, you guys have to install, uh, download the Hive OS itself. I have a download already. Uh, make sure you download a um, disk imager like Etcher or Rufus. Uh, in this test, I'll show you guys Etcher. Uh, it's really good. I really I use it a lot. I have a little SATA to US, USB adapter, so I can plug in my SSD. Uh, so now uh, we're plugging your SSD, and then click on Hive OS. Image, uh, select your drive, my 500 gigabyte SSD, which is kind of overkill. Uh, rather use like a 60 or 120 gigabyte SSD, it should be good enough, and then flash it. Okay guys, when that's done, it's finishing up. It takes a couple minutes, and then we're gonna close it, and we're gonna unplug the SSD. Alright guys, so once it's unplugged, either from your SATA adapter or if you had it in your computer, you have to turn off your computer and then unplug it. We're going to put it in the rig now. Putting it in the rig, putting it in the rig. So we're going to put it in this beauty right here, this 7x1060 rig. Alright guys, plugged in, ready to go. Now, once your rig is on, it should be getting an IP address. Uh, you'll have to go into your router or wherever you get your DHCP from to figure out what the IP is. Logging into your router, get the IP. Then you'll want to um, follow this guy here. We're gonna type in the browser, HTTPS colon slash slash, and then put in your IP address, and then colon 4200. So I have it saved here. Boom, worker login. You're going to want to put user, and then it's number one. That's the default, user, and then password is one. Next, you guys are going to want to type in first run dash F. First run dash F. Done. Press enter to continue with this URL. Yeah, you just press enter. Rig ID. Okay, so now, guys, this is where you go back to your rig. Uh, remember this over uh, your rig that you just made I made is called red01 you're gonna want your rig ID so it's three five two five 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 three five two five oops five five you press enter password is password <laughs> password and yes 
We recommend you change the default password, set rig password as system, sure. So you guys will have to change that for uh, a better password later on if you guys want. This is just a test, so. Boom, restarting miner. Okay, so now we should start seeing this online. Boom, there it is. So it shows the seven GPUs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right guys, so now we're gonna add a Aeon wallet to the Hive OS. It's just an address that you guys are gonna enter in that you'll need first. Uh, so we're gonna go to wallets, add wallet, coin, we're gonna type in Aeon, address. Uh, we're just gonna use a, I'm gonna use the aeonpool.tech donation address. I'm gonna mine directly to it. And wallet. Uh, but if you guys want to create your own wallet, you just go to, you can either use the official desktop wallet or the Magnum Lite wallet or the Coin Omi wallet. Or if you're uh, courageous, do the Ubuntu full node wallet. <laughs> okay, so after that, you hit create. Boom, you got your wallet address there. Now we're going to create a flight sheet. Gonna need the Aeon, select the wallet, which you just created. Wallet, Aeon wallet. Pool, boom, it's got the Aeon pool.tech already pre filled. And you select the pool server, which we're gonna be using the 3G plus GPU one. That's a pry. The miner, we're gonna be using G miner because that's my favorite. And we seem to be getting the most hash uh, souls from that one. Uh, in my opinion. Uh, then you click on create flight sheet. So now, oh, so now we go to the worker. As you can see, the worker's on. Now we're going to be clicking on the flight sheet. Uh, so now we're going to make it fly. <laughs> make sure you guys click on the flight symbol here, worker updated. Uh, now we're going to do the overclocking. We got to add that in. So now we're going to configure new algorithm. Algorithm. You guys got to find the Equihash uh, 210 slash 9. That's the Aeon one. Add that in there. Core clock. We're going to do. So this will all depend on what kind of NVIDIA cards you guys are using or AMD. Uh, for my 1060s, I go 150 core clock. 300 memory, 60% fan, power limit 70, and click save. So now the overclocking should now start taking place. 60%, 150 core, 300 memory. Triple check. Okay, guys. So should start pulling up souls here 138 133 136 145 144 137 136 yeah it's going good let me check the overclock that i did here make sure it's correct flight sheet wallet address going to the donation address server cluster yeah that looks like all good guys Okay, so now we're gonna go to the pool guys and see if the Yeah, so boom right away guys it shows my hash rate from red zero one Awesome awesome Yeah, I, I really like this interface. This is the first time for me using hive os I really like that they got some nice little um, full hash rate notice here. Uh, they got the power consumption. Really cool. Look at that, 910, 910 souls. It's got the, oh look at that, when you mouse over the uh, green dots here, it shows the temperature, fan, fan speed. I guess if a miner goes off, it'll go red, which must be pretty cool. 
Look at that. Look at that. 477 watts. 910 souls. Awesome. Stats, workers, go back to workers. So as you can see guys at the top here, there's power actions. So you can reboot the rig, shut down the rig, uh, do all that stuff from here as well. Uh, change the server URL, yet LAN configuration, edit tags, remote access, minor actions, minor log, minor config, stop minor, restart minor. Oh, that's handy. Stop minor is really good. Hashtag critical temperature. <laughs> Remove, auto page, refresh. Nice. Okay, guys. That's it. Looks pretty good. Oh, look at that. I've mined 0 0.121 Aeon already. Going hard, guys. Going hard to the uh, aeonpool.tech donation address. <laughs> okay, guys. That, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys oh, will try it. hope you guys will mine Aeon. And let me know what you guys think down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.